Feed a family some vegetables and you feed them for a day. Teach a family to farm and you feed them for life. That could be the motto of a humble Aussie scientist who's fed millions using a unique farming method, bringing barren land back to life. He's a humble hero, Tony Renato, but a hero nonetheless. He might be the quiet country boy from Victoria, but here in West Africa, the agricultural scientist is a big noise. Tony has transformed millions of lives, teaching farmers a special technique to breathe life into ruined land. So what was here five years ago? Five years ago, this was a barren field. The results are stunning. Because of Tony, his wife Liz and World Vision, the planet is a better place for so many people who rely on the land to survive. The agricultural revolution began in Niger, West Africa, in 1981. Tony and Liz were 24. Through regenerating the, the seed stock and the living tree stumps that were already in that landscape, without using fertiliser or irrigation or improved seed, they're growing an additional 500,000 tonnes of grain every year, enough to feed two and a half million people. No mean feat in this landscape, blasted by ferocious sun and savage Saharan winds. Farmers were cutting down trees and slashing regrowth. Crops were failing. Families were starving. Animals were dying. Tony helped the farmers plant trees, but they died. Then the light bulb moment. He realised that instead of planting trees, farmers needed to allow the existing tree stumps to regrow. This is the material we were working with in Niger. And so the farmers would be destroying this, would they? They, they saw it as a, a, a nuisance to their agriculture. It's in the way, and they had a perception that's competing with the crops. Let's get rid of it. But what you're saying is that this is really good for the environment. It's, it's extremely important. When you think of the very strong winds, the high temperatures and the low soil fertility, trees are a buffer to those extremes that actually improve their agricultural production. This was groundbreaking, a farming revolution that has now spread to 40 countries around the world, beginning in Niger, then Mali, Senegal and Ethiopia. Tony calls it farmer-managed natural regeneration. In effect, it's a combined bank account and an insurance policy. If all else fails, the trees are there as a mainstay. It works like this. So that, that took me less than three minutes. And what was a useless weed that was in the way of the agriculture, now that's an emerging tree. And the reason we leave five, it's much harder for an animal passing by or for strong winds to break that. But also people need fuel wood for their daily lives. They mean so much to them, they actually call it their green gold. When you look at a barren landscape, what do you see? Oh, I see potential. Opportunity. Opportunity. There's, there's a vast underground forest under many of those so-called barren landscapes. Tony taught the farmers to work with nature, not against it. But at the start, it wasn't easy. In the early days, they called me the crazy white farmer. And what do they call you now? I'm the chief of farmers, <laughs> which, which is a, a, a notion of great respect. <laughs> it's incredibly satisfying to see the burden on women and children eased so much. Your wife Liz uh, has been very important in this. You're a team. Yep. What is in Liz's role? Well, there, there wouldn't be a Tony story if Liz wasn't part of it. In a word, how would you describe him? Oh, he, you, you look up humble in the dictionary and that's him. Clinton is a farmer from Gippsland in Victoria. He's been to West Africa three times to witness Tony's legacy. We saw trees that were five, six, seven metres tall, even taller, and crops in between those trees and people speaking glowingly of what, how Tony had helped them and what the technique was doing for them. Do you know what the world needs? No, what's that? <laughs> it needs more Tonys. <laughs> I thought you were going to say more trees. Tony's work has been totally revolutionary. He started with a small idea, doing it with one community, and 
Over the decades, it's grown to something that you can see from space. World Vision CEO, Grant Bailden. Whenever you go into a community and you ask what they most hope for, uh, what their dreams are, they always talk about their children, they talk about the next generation, they talk about the future. That's what Tony's work is about. If the world adopted your method universally, what would happen to the planet? There's no silver bullets, but if I only had a one barrel shotgun and a bucket full of bullets, the first bullet I would pull out would be the FMNR bullet. <laughs> your bullet. <laughs> My bullet. This is one of the best solutions to climate change we have in the world right now. And to honour that, Tony's just won the Luxembourg Peace Prize for Outstanding Environmental Peace. An award like that puts it on a pedestal that people can notice. Tony's the sort of bloke who makes you smile. He makes you laugh. In this scary world, he gives you hope. And all of us are better for it. And you two haven't finished yet, have you? Oh, no. You'll keep going. No, no, no there's too much to do yet. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you've got a world to save. <laughs> He's certainly doing that. And yes, the world needs more Tonys. He and Liz head back to Kenya and Uganda next year to continue their work and we wish them all the very best.